Hi, I'm Vidali, and in this video, you'll learn how to edit a portrait using a combination of Luminar's tools. Let's get started. So here's a portrait of Florida-based model Ashley Below. The first thing I want to do is apply AI Accent. Now, this is automatically going to make the image look so much better, just with one slider. Then, next I find that I like to come down to Color, and I desaturate quite a bit, but then I increase the vibrance a little bit more. So saturation is going to deal with all the colors. Vibrance is going to deal with the muted colors within the image. All right, bring out a little more detail, especially in her hair and in her shirt. Good. Right about there. And I like to apply a vignette. Here's a real quick tip on how to do this. I always like to start out to an extreme. And once I get the, the vignette looking the way I want, I'll place the center point right about here. That looks good. And then I'll dial it back. Great. Good. All right, so let's see what we just did. By using the vignette, we darkened around Ashley and kind of brought more focus towards her. Let's see, Accent AI did most of the heavy lifting. So look, it automatically adjusted the exposure and brought out some of the hidden detail, like in her hair and in her in her um, outfit. And then color, that makes sure, that's what we're about, right about here, and color's going to help us to make sure she's not oversaturated. In fact, let's come over here and notice there's orange in her skin tone. So watch. Yeah, let's bring it right about there. Great. Now, in a short time, we were able to quickly edit this. We went from here to here. When I catch myself repeating a task over and over again, I like to create a look. This just makes the workflow a lot faster. As you can see down here, I already created an essentials development. So if I click on that, it's going to apply all the tools that we just spent a few minutes uh, applying, all within a second. So here's before, here's after. Now, let's get into the portrait side of it. So that was developing the image. Now I'm going to click on the portrait tools. And let's increase. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can give a better view. Um, she doesn't have too many uh, blemishes. But I like to keep this AI skin defects removal checked. And I'm going to crank up the skin softening just to about maybe 60, 63. Good. Look what that's doing here. So here's before. Here's after. Just a little extra. Look how it's smoothing everything out. And now the portrait enhancer. I like to add a little face light. Not too concerned about red eye removal. Uh, I'll whiten the eyes just a little. Eye enhancer, I crank that all the way up. And just in case there's dark patches under the eyes, we like to remove them. I don't need to slim her face. Eye enlargement, let's move it up maybe one or two. And then let's enhance her eyebrows. And I like to increase the lips, the redness, and a little darkening. Good. And then for her teeth, we'll bring it up just a bit. Now, it doesn't look like we did a whole lot, but let's turn it on and off. So here's what it looks like without the portrait enhancer tool. And here's what it looks like with it. Look how the eyes just pop. I'm going to back it out just a little bit. Now, if you catch 
it, if you catch the eyes looking a little too spooky, then just back them off just a little bit. Great. All right, so let's look at begin before and after. So here's what we started with. This is where we're at so far. Let's really take this to the next level. I'm going to click on the Pro Tools. And I love the adjustable gradient. I can adjust the exposure of the top and bottom of the image independently. So for the bottom part, let's make it a lot darker. Ooh, look what that just did. Notice how it brought attention right to Ashley's face. And I can even set the orientation. Let's move it down just a little bit. Good. And once again, before and after. Just a little extra is going to bring attention to her. So I like that. Then we're going to do one extra little tip. I love the color of her eyes. Let's make them even better. So I'm going to click on the, the photo tool. So I'm going to click on the photo tool. Now, this is going to apply a new U to the entire image. We just want it on the eye, the eye itself. And we're going to use a layer mask to do that. But before we do, let's try to get the color close to her eye. Right about here. That's good. And preserve luminosity will dictate whether or not her iris in here is going to be darker or brighter. Let's leave it on for now. And I'm going to select a brush. Paint at 100% opacity. And let's lower the brush or make it smaller. I just want to paint around the iris. And notice everything disappeared except where I'm painting. Look at that. And I can click on the visibility, the visibility icon of the mask to see where I'm actually painting. That looks really good. Now, before I hit done, let's change the U again. Let's go to a green. Now, although that looks really cool, Ashley's eyes aren't green, so it's going to look a little fake. Now, I notice there's a little overspill here, so I'll click Erase. And let's get rid of that. Good. Now, I can click Done. Back out a little bit. So that's what Ash, that's what Ashley would look like with green eyes. Let's move it back down to her natural color. Right about here. Oh, I like that. Good. And I can control the amount. There. And let's back out just a little bit. So that, again, by backing it out... This gives us an overview of the entire image to see if it looks a little too fake. In this case, I think it does, so I'm going to back it down just a little. Ooh, that looks nice. Here's without it, and here's with it. Just that little extra adds a big change. Let me zoom in one more time. So without it, and with it. Good. Put a little more with it. Good. I like that a lot. Like I said earlier, since I know I'm going to keep doing this over and over again, instead of each portrait I work with, I make these same changes. I'm going to create a new look, and which I made one down here called Portrait Enhancement. So now, if I start a new image, instead of going through what we just did and spend a few minutes, you know, manually applying all these settings i'll just click on portrait enhancement and that's going to give us a great starting point now one word of warning this photo filter watch what's going to what's going to happen so i'm going to save this first of all so save new and let's just give it a name so that's a new look we just created i'm going to come over here and we're going to reset the adjustment so we're back to the original. Now, watch what happens. If I click on that new look we just created, you're going to think, well, this is great until 
that portrait filter is applied to the entire image. The reason why it was applied is because when we save a new look, when we create a mask inside that tool, the, the mask itself isn't saved. So we just have to come back in with the brush again, paint, and then apply that right to the area we want and everything will disappear. We're back to where we were. So to fix this, I like to turn it off. Now let's come back here to that beauty that we just created and now I'm gonna update it. Now I keep it off so this way, let's reset this. So when we are starting with a new edit and I apply that new filter that we just did, I'm not gonna have any surprises. It looks great. And then if I want the eyes to be enhanced, then I'll come over here and I'll actually turn that on. Now, if you notice that that layer mask worked great for the eyes, well, let's go back to the adjustable gradient tool. I love what it's doing to the bottom half, but look at the rose. You see how the rose is being affected just a bit? Well, use the, the edit mask. This time, select erase. And we'll go at 100% again. And now I'm just gonna erase out that area. So now the rose isn't being affected, but all the other areas are. Now the rose stands out and the bottom half of the image stays dark. So in a short time, we were able to edit an average portrait and make it look beautiful using the powerful tools in Luminar. Well, I'm Fidelli. Thanks for watching.